For the glassing process, uh, the design called for adding glass bubbles and fused silica to the resin, um, both for the initial uh, coat um, attaching the glass, as well as for a fill coat. Um, I chose to go with the Gorgeron Brothers uh, method and uh, I use straight resin for all applications of both in uh, laying the cloth and filling it. Um, I use West Systems 105 resin and 207 hardener and the reason for the 207 hardener um, uh, I started using that because it didn't have the amine blush uh, issue when you're using it in a, a clear um, application and that which uh, uh, I was doing for a lot of the interior work um, and it wasn't going to be painted. Um, you could use, um, if you're going to be painting it, you could use 206 hardener uh, or whatever the equivalent would be in another brand. Anyways, that's uh, the method I followed and uh, um, it seemed to have turned out okay. So I finished the glassing on one of the hulls and uh, I draped the cloth lengthwise as I have it uh, on the second hull here. Um, the cloth though is only five feet wide and uh, so I would go right from the bottom end of uh, the hull over top to the other side and it would only go almost all the way around um, but there would be about uh, 14 inches um, that uh, was exposed to the wood so what I did was I uh, just added on cloth in five foot increments all along this edge. Now this edge is uh, uh, on the between the hulls so it's not really exposed uh, so if there's any flaws in it that's 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 acceptable. So on the second hull I started with the patching work along the one inside edge um, uh, to start with and then I draped I started that by draping the cloth down and drawing a green magic marker line uh, and uh, that way I could just patch up to that green marker line a little bit past and uh, so now I will start the main glassing um, just drop the cloth down, start the main glassing. Uh, in this manner, any drips that do come down from the from the main cloth, um, I won't have to sand them off uh, in order to put the other fiber glassing on. Anyways, I just thought that would be a little bit easier. I'm also going to use a roller. I'm finding the roller works uh, very well, and that's why I'm going to do the entire hull with the roller, at least that's the intention. So my basic fiber glassing is complete. Um, I'm going to add a second layer right along the keel strip, uh, probably about a foot wide. After that, I'll be sanding it lightly sanding it and then uh, I have to build up coats of um, resin and uh, a filler uh, just to build a nice smooth surface and uh, and then of course I'll have to sand that sand any drips and then it'll be ready for painting. So I've started working on the trim tabs I have uh, some framing on the back end of uh, both hulls. Um, I could have built this all at the same time as when I framed the entire hull. I just chose to do it separately, keep it separate. Um, 
in hindsight, if I was going to do it again, I would probably do it all at the same time. My next step will be to uh, add these um, little sections of, uh, I'm using uh, three quarter inch pine. Um, the plans call for six mil plywood and of course it's all framed, but I think you could pretty much do this uh, any way you want, whatever is uh, convenient. Um, after that framing is done, Um, this back section will go on about there and then I'll have to close it in and uh, the purpose of the tabs the trim tabs um, when one of the builders had uh, decided he wanted to upgrade the motors to a 20 horsepower he found that he needed to to add trim tabs to the back of the uh, to the back of the hulls and that in order to get it to plane uh, correctly. So um, even though I don't plan on going that fast with this boat, uh, I want the option. So I'm going to add the trim tabs. So this is the progress on the trim tabs. I have the basic pieces screwed together in a temporary arrangement. Um, after I've uh, completed the bottom, which is this part, because everything's upside down, um, check the fit. I'll then epoxy it uh, on with a, an epoxy glue solution and uh, then sand it and it'll be ready for glassing. Um, one of the things I did was on the what looks like to be a bottom plate which is actually a top plate it was the top of the trim tab. Uh, this piece covers the entire perimeter um, of the trim tab. I'm not sure if that makes any difference once you glass it, but uh, uh, I thought it'd be a better um, way to do it. Anyways, quick look inside, and uh, that's the progress so far. So the final piece I had to uh, make was a little keel strip. Um, now my chine on my keel is not as sharp as in uh, other people's uh, boats. I decided at the stern I wanted it to flare out just a little bit and uh, so I'm continuing that right through the trim tab. The uh, next step here I've got the uh, bottoms uh, all fitted into place and I will be uh, epoxying this all together now and, um, and after that's dry, sand it <coughs> and glass it. So the trim tabs are ready for fiberglassing. Got a couple of tiny little spots that I have to touch up with uh, some filler first, but I could do that as I uh, as I glass. Uh, anyways, uh, I think these came out quite nicely. So these are the trim tabs. So one of the things I decided to to start working on was. Uh, the support mechanism for the front bow that um, curves up. Um, in the plans they use fur and then they just put uh, cuts about every inch and uh, carefully bend it. But I decided I would build a little form and then steam some oak. And uh, there's my little steamer 
there. It's starting to heat up. And I'll use uh, two pieces of uh, quarter inch oak, steam them, and then later epoxy them together, and they will be nice and solid, uh, permanently formed in an arc, and it won't lose that, uh, that shape. I'll do two of those on this form, one for each hull. And so they will be all ready for when um, I get to that point in the process where I need to add them to the hulls. So my first two pieces of oak are uh, steaming away. I'm going to leave them there for about 10 minutes. That should be uh, quite sufficient. And uh, also I've added some packing tape um, against the hull and also around the form just so that when I go to epoxy things in place um, <coughs> that strips together that they don't actually stick to the hull or to the form because I want to be able to uh, remove them and um, then glue them back uh, whenever I require to. And there I have the first arc support. Uh, steamed and clamped in place. I'll let that dry then I will epoxy them together let that dry and then tomorrow uh, I should be able to do the next one. So this is my finished uh, laminated stem that I have uh, curved to be uh, a 26 inch radius laminated together Epoxy together and that holds its shape pretty good. So I'm going to make another one. So the fiberglassing and epoxy resining is all done. I built up the coats of resin. Um, so the glass is fully covered now. And so now is the process of uh, starting the sand down. Um, and smooth everything out. You can see on this side I have started the sanding process. Uh, I started with 80 grit paper and uh, working my way along. So I've got a long ways to go and uh, then I will use 120 grit and then go a little bit higher, 200 grit I guess. And then I think that should be good enough for uh, priming. So all the rough sanding is now complete. It took uh, many hours of sanding to get it, uh, the epoxy all down nice and smooth. So the more time you take in, in putting it on, the uh, less sanding you're going to have to do, but you're still going to have a lot uh, to be done. There's a few spots on the boat that I'm going to have to touch up. I, I noticed um, there's issues with it and I'll have to touch that up. The um, next thing I'm going to be doing is cutting the arc out of the edge of the uh, inside of the hulls and put this support uh, mechanism on and uh, this support mechanism will, uh, will hold the front bow as it extends across to the other hull and I'll be cutting this part of the hull out right here and so when everything is complete um, this will be part of a inner storage area that will go right over into the hull um, on the design uh, they basically have uh, this part solid and as a independent uh, storage area in that hull and then independent storage areas coming across uh, between the hulls as well but I'm going to do it a little bit differently. The other thing I have to uh, do before I prime it is uh, put on this support trim along this edge. Uh, that'll be to help support the main deck and uh, then uh, it'll be pretty much ready for priming. A 
and I've got two coats of primer on the hulls and uh, next step will be to put the uh, green coating on. Um, first so I will lightly sand the primer with uh, 220 grit and then go to about 350 before I, first, uh, before I put the first coat of uh, green on the hulls. And then I'll be ready to uh, remove the hulls from the stand, flip them over into their cradles and uh, start working on the interior, uh, fixing up the inside where there was drips, etc. And um, work on the deck. Well, the painting is complete on the hulls. Um, I will probably have to put a, a coat on later on. I ran out of paint and it does need a, another coating on this one side. Um, not 100% happy with the results, but it's probably the best I could get in a garage. And uh, I didn't spray it, I used a foam roller. Uh, anyways, I have uh, hull number two now turned over and in cradles and it's not looking too bad. It was a heck of a beast to turn over but uh, still came out pretty good. I'll have to do some cleanup work on the inside and start getting ready to do the decking. Of course, I'll have to figure out how to turn this one over next. Well, both hulls are now turned over and I've got them roughly set six feet apart uh, from center line to center line. I'll have to uh, now level that and get it exactly right spot on so that uh, when I put the deck on, uh, she's not going to be wanting to go in any other direction but straight. So the railing system is looking pretty good. These are all the uprights uh, for the railing system. And I've got some cleanup work to do inside here just to sand off some of the uh, drips. A bit of work. 